Okay, so Anthony is mad at me for two reasons. One reason that I can understand, the other one I really don't know. I called Anthony Tugger, and he didn't like that, but that's what I called them. So he is angry about that. It seems really emotional, totally accidental, of course, right? You know, when you're reading the chat and it's all Tugger, 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 sometimes you read it and you go, oh, Tugger, and... and Oops, <laughs> obviously, he is uh, he took that uh, very personal and was offended. And the second thing is about Liz and Darby. I have said this to him many times. I need to know where their money is from Liz and Darby. How much money do they take? Do they have any watches or money left over? It seems like they're living... All... I hate Liz and Darby. I hate Liz and Darby, and let me explain why. Because now you will understand in this context. Also, I, I covered this already. But uh, he's going to double his price soon, so you guys get in at the 250 400 price, because uh, soon that price will be 500 and 800 And wait till you discover what phase four of the plan is to pay back these people and also become rich and wealthy. At no point in time am I mentioned in this as a partner or I'm going to get any money or any of this stuff. This is just me doing it out of the goodness of my heart for free. Again, at no point in time is it ever conveyed to me how I'm going to benefit from, from this. So I said, I need really good content, otherwise, no go. I need amazing content, and he's actually provided this amazing content. You guys just don't know it yet, because there's so much of it to go through via text messages, and, and it's, it's, this is plan two. This plan has four phases, but it's plan two. Plan one, I think had like 20 different phases. Or like, they weren't phases, they were like headers, right? Maybe 10 headers. I'm, I'm starting, I'm, he, he sent me like a list of how to get people to buy his artwork. There was like seven points of it. And he was giving me tips on my social media and how we only should produce two videos a week. And I was like, ugh. Anyway, back to my thing so i call them tugger that's really easy to understand he's very offended by that and he's becoming like a Lindsay lohan like character screaming and yelling i don't know i don't he's in jail i don't know if he's actually screaming and yelling but he did not appreciate me calling him a tugger i did call him tugger by mistake so i admit that fault um but when the whole chat is like tugger 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 like the whole lives like i i you know i'm reading the chat like but he doesn't know that, right? So he's thinking, oh, you know, this is my new name from him. And, uh, hmm, okay. Now, uh, the other thing is the Liz and Darby. Liz and Darby are two snakes. You remember that video that Liz and Darby made about Jimmy being a snake? Because Jimmy was at least smart enough to realize, hey, this ship is going down. I shouldn't milk this cow anymore. I need to get off now. Well, Darby and Liz hung on for dear life to milk that last little drop. Well, it turned out Liz and Darby are the snakes. So I asked, I asked Tugger this. I'm going to call him Tugger from now on because uh, I mean, he has no choice. He's in jail, guys. Like, it's not easy to make a phone call out of jail. A, you have to register their person. A, B, they have to agree. C, it's really weird that I get a phone call and the first thing is, hey, this is a phone call from federal prison. Inmate, blah, blah, blah. I want to take, it's, this is not. Not it's still kind of a jar. You know, this is the second time, but it's still a little jarring. Like, hey, should I press five or not? Like, you know, I thought about it. I was like, maybe I just hang up. It's just, and it's kind of weird. In the middle of conversation, and then there's lockdown that happens. It's just, uh, you know, I, I'm not well versed with jail, so it's a very bizarre experience for someone like me. Now, so I've asked him many times. Okay, Anthony, you're giving me direction. You're giving me bullet points. You're telling me what to do all the time. You do realize that you've never given me, you never paid for a grain of rice. You never paid me a penny. None of these plans, I can tell you why this is so funny. None of these plans involve me benefiting in any way. I do not benefit financially. I do not benefit from views or subscribers under, under his plan. His plan is he, got, he has no money to give even if he wanted to give. The FBI would shut that down instantaneously. You guys don't understand. The FBI is listening to every every voice phone call. I, I'm sure it, it probably came back to his attorney that like he's doing this now. Erica, shout out to Erica. I'm sure that she's watching these videos. 
maybe I'll be called. So in a case, uh, it's like a $10 million, $20 million case. I'm being called as a witness. I could be a witness to his trial. And then I wouldn't have a choice but to travel there because they would subpoena you. So uh, Tugger is making the... And I asked Tugger this. Hey, there's two dudes out there, Liz and Darby, who you gave... You gave Darby his eyes. Without him, he would be blind. Without you, he would be blind. You paid for his eye surgery. You paid for them, their Dallas. Let me put it this way. They were not, their rent was not only paid in California. Their rent was also paid in Dallas. They were living a lavish, influential lifestyle. Darby and Liz, I'm talking about, in Dallas. A lot more money was spent in Dallas than you would ever know on Darby and Liz. They were given watches, they were given golf things, and, and things like this. And it's all provable because it's on film. The mother effort Darby filmed it himself. You know, he filmed all this himself. So I would love to see him go into court and reject any of the, the Corvette with Lambo doors, the 20%, the $20,000 rental, the sushi dinners, and Liz's birthday while he was getting plastered. I said, dude, dude, Anthony. I took zero from you. I would never take anything from you, even a drawing of myself. I will not take that from you. There are two dudes who like really should be doing this stuff for you if you had to ask them. Like, why don't you ask those two dudes? Like, their names are Liz and Darby. And he would not talk about them. He gets very mad and very upset. And, and this is, Anthony, like, I know him very well. Tugger is very vengeful. There's nothing as vengeful as a tugger in prison. I can't imagine an animal more vengeful than that. Maybe one of those honey badgers that I see on YouTube sometimes. But my gosh, that is a honey badger. The tugger does not understand that I'm not... Like, he has never taken... I can explain in one very simple way. I live in Houston. He lives in Dallas. I have clients in Dallas. It is a four-hour drive, so when I take my secretary and my co-worker to Dallas with me to do, like, a presentation and do, like, oh, hey, this is what happened this month, uh, we get to my home at 7, we leave in my car at 8, we go there at 12, we give the presentation, and then we drive home, and we're home around 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. or sometimes 10 p.m., depending on if we stop for dinner, depending on where we get dinner along the way. When Anthony was the most popular, where all these, you know, chat fiends like Matthias, I think his name is Matthias, are taking his free lunches and his free dinners and his free blank in the blanks and the free hotel rooms where he'll secretly visit you because he's got the key at night because it's under his name. Uh, I didn't even want to visit the dude when he was at the height of his popularity. I didn't want to drive the four hours. I'm not, not, not effing. I wouldn't want to drive the 15 minutes it would get from my client to his to the Crescent. So I've been clowning this dude for two and a half years. And he thinks like, and I'm the only effer left. That's sad as hell, right? When he paid Liz and Darby that the salary... The amount of money those two got paid and fringe benefits, and they weren't friends, they were the majority. I mean, these are benefits. Like, let me ask you this. How much would you love a guy if he paid for your eye surgery, he paid for your sick leave, and, and he got paid on the whole time? He paid for your friend's kidney. He raised like $200,000 for that kidney on the black market. By the way, guys, you can't buy a kidney. I hope you guys understand that. So it's just kind of money given to somebody he pays for your, you to meet Tony Hawk, right? He paid so much money to get a booth that lost money that you got to meet Tony Hawk. He pays for your cars, multiple cars. I'm, I'm looking at you, Liz. He pays for multiple watches. Again, I'm looking at Liz and Darby. They both got watches on camera. Now, what if I would tell you, whatever you saw on camera, multiply that by four. That's what they actually received. There are a lot of things that they, those two guys got in Dallas that was never recorded. But it's in the footage. Let me explain what happened. Who's the editor? Darby McVeigh. Hmm. It's very interesting. And who has that footage? The FBI. <laughs> they have the footage. And Darby and Liz, they're looking at that footage, man. Now, I asked him the simple question. Hey, you're kind of like a vengeful dude, right? Remember when you came after me? Tugger? Like... <laughs> 
why would you let Liz and Darby, who backstabbed you, betrayed you, won't even pick up the mother effing phone for you? Why would you let Liz and Darby get away with all this? I mean, why not go on my stream, my stream, and talk about it, and then we'll promote your little artwork a little bit at the end, because it's good content for Liz and Darby. Why not tell me where how much money they were paid, and he knows, he knows these answers, right? How much money you were paid in Dallas? Because that's something that people don't know. They were paid a lot in Dallas. Like what I mean, a lot. I mean, their rent was paid, their cars were paid, everything. Like, it it wasn't it wasn't as nice of a car and it wasn't nice of a rent. But to my understanding, they were paid, and he's not denied any of this stuff. So, my conclusion is really really simple. There's something going on with those two. I don't know if they're holding money for him. I don't know if they're holding consignment pieces for him. The Tucker I know being treated as poorly as he has been treated by his two closest friends would be a very vengeful, hateful individual. And Liz and Darby are not picking up the phone because they're idiots. And the FBI would probably, they, they might say things to the FBI that would tell you where that's what i believe allegations of course but let me put it this way for you he has spent so much money i would even put the the cap at probably a million dollars maybe two million dollars on liz and darby his best friends not my words but liz's words when jimmy left how much did liz hate jimmy and call him a snake on live it's all recorded you can find the recording so you telling me they're probably one of the most vengeful people we know, Tugger. The Tugger is going to give them a pass after spending. No, 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 no. That's why I want the the fine. That's why I want to know this type of thing. It is quite possible, in my opinion, that Liz and Darby are holding watches and money for Anthony Farrar. That would explain why Anthony doesn't want to contact them. Remember, every single email, every single phone call, everything, every single conversation is recorded by the FBI. I mean, it's pretty obvious, right, where you're on the phone. It's pretty obvious when you're emailing because the mother effing thing says, this will be recorded by the FBI or this will be recorded by the jail or something. When you're on the phone, the first thing to tell you, hey, this is a guy in prison. We're going to record it. <laughs> what if Liz and Darby talk to Anthony and they say something they should not say? Hey, Anthony, uh, we showed some of the watches. We really needed to uh, create this uh, uh, testosterone place for women. And we're like, no, shut up, shut up. No, no, but it's a good thing. We invested the money with this other guy. His name is Coach 2.0. I want that story. So, like, you guys are, oh, why are you helping? I, in my view, am playing nice, nice. Because I want that story. Because if that's the story that I think it is, this whole thing just blows up. Then I can recover. We can recover the watches. We can recover the money, and it's Liz and Darby all along. Liz and Darby are his best friends. Are his best and close. You know this. I know this. We don't need to go down that rabbit hole. He gave them so so very much. There is some money unaccounted for. There is money unaccounted for. Anthony is a vengeful. He has not changed. I, I'm going to show you more emails. I can show. I can. 100% prove to you he has not changed who he is. He's still egomaniac. He's still a narcissist. He's still very deceptive. He's still very manipulative. I'm just playing this game with him because it's fun to play. And he doesn't really know or have a choice. First of all, why is he playing this game with me? He doesn't have a choice. Okay? He's in jail. I'm not in jail. I don't know what the definition of leverage is, but that sounds pretty close to it. The only way for him to get his story, oh, I changed, I'm a better human being, blah, 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 blah. Give him, you know, like when we negotiated, let me tell you this. He wanted 100% of every phone call just to be like some type of like redemption arc. And I was supposed to like agree and nod my head and be like, wow. Um, we are at a crossroad because I, I, I don't know how much of it, like I called him Tugger and he just exploded. Like legit exploded. Um, that to me doesn't indicate he's changed. Liz and Darby. I hate Liz and Darby. 
I think they have the money. And I think they have the watches. That's the only explanation of why he speaks so highly of them even now. I've asked Anthony many times, hey, you don't owe these guys anything. You know, you know what I'm, you know, you've watched the Liz and Darby. You know exactly what I say. That they're little rats. Little rats. If, if Jimmy is a snake, then these two are lower than a snake. But he won't say one bad word about them. Not one. It's so weird that, that it must be that they have, they're holding out money. Right? Stay tuned next time because I have evidence.